we had force curve on there all the time because it shows you how the sequencing works. And everybody's force curve is different as well. You know, if you're very good at connected off the front, the force curve is, is more shifted to the left. You know, it comes up quite early. Um, and then if you're not, if, if you've really got a really strong big upper back and you've got a good swing on you, then the force curve slightly shifted to the right. Um, and that's the thing is it's all it is is trying to look for it. if when you're doing it You'll see that there's a little dot all the time now if you have big gaps between the dots or it's a little bit sharp That just means that you're not quite sequencing everything together It's not this flow and a swing that we're looking for in the rowing stroke because effectively the rowing stroke is just one big sort of swing big flow um, And there's no like jerky movements through it So we don't want to have like as soon as you try and pull the arms you try and give it a little bit more and, it, and it, it'll like peak the force curve a little bit you're just trying to find that smooth rhythm. So, you know, experiment with it, get on, have a go, um, and, and you'll really see what you can do as an individual.